She's a wonderful Mary. <laughs> when I was old enough to make a decision on what I was going to do with my life, uh, by the way, I did not choose to become a singer. I'm just a, an average singer, but uh, I actually chose to become a pilot. And I was in the Canadian Air Force, the Canadian military, as a pilot for 10 years. And then I, after that, I flew business corporate jets. So for 15 years of my life, at least, I was doing crazy things some of that time in the military. But at the time, uh, of course, I was single. I was single back then, and I was, I'm single now. If you know anyone special, please talk to me later. <laughs> that would be a wonderful Christmas gift, wouldn't it? But at the time, I, I was earning so much money. I may have told this story here at some point. I was earning so much money. It was about 23,000 ringgit per month. Per month. And, and uh, I could buy anything I wanted. I, I bought every golf club that was advertised, that was guaranteed to make my game better. I bought big screen televisions and video cameras to analyze my golf swing. You see, golf was my god at the time. Golf and my new car. You see, I, I bought a new car. Um, it was 23,000 US, about, about 70, 85,000 ringgit, something like that. And I just paid cash. It was a Toyota Supra sports car. Oh, beautiful car. Five speed. And I loved that car. At the time, I was quite handsome and I had a girlfriend. So I had a good job, lots of money, flying jets around and a new car and playing and winning some small golf tournaments on the weekends. I was pretty well uh, living the dream life of a Canadian young man. Well, it was about four weeks after I bought that car, I went into the food store, the grocery store, supermarket, to buy some bread and, and uh, fruit and things like that. And I, came, I was only in the store for eight minutes, seven or eight minutes, no exaggeration. I came back to my car. I was so excited with my new car, my wonderful life, and I walked back and I saw a big scratch on the side of my car. Uh, Sir, did you see anyone near my car? It's a brand new car. It's a big scratch. Miss, did you see any children riding bicycles past my, my car? It's brand new. It's a, <laughs> no one saw a thing. I could not believe it. Doesn't anyone care? A brand new car. My emotions went from here to here just like that. Well, about eight months later, I bought a new car. The new model was announced, the new Supra. So I took this old piece of garbage, eight-month-old car with many scratches by that point. I took it in, and I traded in on the new car. It had extra horsepower, better gas mileage. It was the dark blue color with a spoiler on the back. Oh, boy, I like that one. So I paid, I don't know, 3,000, 5,000 difference, and I bought the new car. I could feel the extra power. It took six weeks this time. I had finished a game of golf with my friends. We were walking back to the, to the car park. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Are you playing tomorrow? What time? Three o'clock. Okay, if I don't have to go flying, I'll, I'll maybe join you. Okay, take care. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Is this my car? This is my car. The big dent on the back bumper. Somebody must have had a bad game of golf and had too many beers in the clubhouse. And they got in their old truck and banged in my... And they were gone. I couldn't believe... My emotions were going like this and like this. Oh, if my girlfriend had a fight with me, oh, my emotions, oh, my goodness. If I had a bad game of golf, shot 79 or 82 in a golf tournament, oh, my... Oh, so sad. Have any of you ever experienced that? where your emotions are kind of very, very volatile, very up and down, like a roller coaster. Folks, with all the money, not a lot of wisdom, because I was not a Christian at the time, I didn't have any wisdom. I bought five new expensive sports cars in four and a half years. 
five new cars in four and a half years. I bought more expensive big boys toys than you could ever imagine. I wasted so much money. And then I found the reason why. You see, I believe that in the heart, the soul of every human being that is ever, ever conceived in their mother's womb, there is an empty place, a void, a V-O-I-D, that only Jesus can fill. You see, very few people understand that principle. I believe God puts that little empty place there with His name on it or his, his shape that only He can fill. But the problem is people all around the world are trying to fill that empty void in their heart with anything and everything. They're looking for love in all the wrong places. They're looking for meaning of, of life in all the wrong ways. And so if they've got money, like I did, and the movie stars and all those multimillionaires, there could be some in here. I'll bet you there are some people in this room right now that will understand what I'm saying. You can buy anything you want in this life. Anything you want. You have a house in uh, Penang. You have a little guest uh, getaway place somewhere else. Hawaii, I don't know. Mercedes. Oh, you have two Mercedes. Wow, very nice. Uh, and a BMW. Wow. Any scratches? Not yet. Wait for it. <laughs> Folks, that's why we have movie stars, the, the rich and famous, the sports athletes that are committing suicide, that are doing crazy things. I used to res respect Tiger Woods so, so much. Some of you know what happened recently with Tiger Woods. Best golfer in the world, without a doubt. He had everything anyone could ever want. Multi, multi, multi millionaire, perhaps billionaire, from his sports earnings and endorsements with Nike. A beautiful wife. Have you seen his wife? Lord, please. She may be available soon. No. Heaven forbid, I hope not. 